finding out what transnational relationships exist in immigrant churches in your city community, investigating, reflecting on your culture. One way would be, what could be to read a critique of your culture from another cultural lens, or to ask friends from other lenses what they're seeing in your culture, both positive and negative, so actually inviting that potentially into the conversation. Um, instead of planning another event or initiative to invite others to, we could go and be a part of another group's initiatives and events and that kind of thing. I think that's a big one. We want to show support and build relationships there. Um, what are some of the other things that, that maybe you've been thinking about uh, as possible next steps for you to bring back to your city? cities around and ask the pastors to come together and to pray. Because I think that pastors are very busy people, I understand that, but what I've been told is that a lot of them don't spend maybe 20 minutes in prayer at average. And so I think that instead of the competition and all that type of thing, that we need to come, they need to come together as a group and pray. and brainstorm with each other in all different ethnic groups and do that. So that was my thought. Yes, I, I like that, and um, I'll, I'll go one step further to say perhaps to have the mission committees in the city to meet and pray and try to meet the ethnic and indigenous in the city. You know, just not so much of, of, uh, of uh, funding per se, but just to hear what God is doing because God is at work and a lot of people don't know because they don't hear, they don't see. And sometimes you have to go overseas to see what God is doing when God is really actually working right beneath their feet.
relationships where we can trust one another, and that comes through patience, uh, and, and share with each other the suffering of what we're going through. You know, here locally, that uh, killing of Jessica Ridgway took place, and that hit national media. You know, people from the city of Arvada got together, the neighbors, the people marched, they rallied until this guy was caught. And in my community, we've had over 110 homicides, kidnappings, and gang murders um, that go unannounced, unacknowledged. Um, but we somehow understand <coughs> change. And so we're active in our community with prayer vigils, and we're already doing these things. But when we experience suffering as a people or a neighborhood or a group, then we're activated. Right. to make change. And that's what happened with Jessica. It happened in their own community and it activated the people to make a change, to do something different about the problems. And I think that's what's got to happen. We have to be able to experience each other's pain and live with that and grow with that. It takes patience and time and it takes building those uh, relationships. And then you'll begin to see the body of Christ working together, trusting each other, doing the work of God that he's called us to do. is like the recipe for rabbit stew. Step one, catch the rabbit, which isn't so easy. You know, it's, it's, you know, getting the pastors together, spend the time for that to happen. God, that, that's, that's, that's the ache that we experience. The pastors want this, but they want others, especially the ones that want this at all white.
part of like a community of leaders here as part of MAP or as part of city reaching that would be pressing in and you and it would be helpful to you to have like a little check-in every quarter or I don't know every six months <coughs> not, not like this big commitment thing but some, a conversation to continue to ask ourselves how's it going how's it going with that you know maybe, maybe we could have a first call and share some of the things that we were thinking about when we first left this this experience, saying, "Oh, I really wanted to do, to to meet these two people or these these pastors on this neighborhood," and we can just get together and say, "How did it go?" And you can say, "Man, I didn't get to it." Well, let's let's try for it this time, or you know what I mean, or just just that we have uh, something that, that that will help us to think community again, not not to drive you in some kind of messed up way. But, um, but to provide support, and, and I think it's easier when you do it together. Um, so if you are interested, um, there's a piece of paper yeah. Some, we'll somewhere, email. somewhere there's, just slap your email and your name on it, and, and we'll kind of keep the ball rolling a little bit. And then finally, um, if you wouldn't mind, in your booklets, you should have an evaluation for the affinity group. If you could just take a few minutes to share with us um, some of your thoughts, that would be really, really helpful to us and to Jarvis, and it will help them explain why we're <coughs> only two tables. <laughs>